The day has finally come for a long awaited, much anticipated full tank cleaning on the 150 American Cichlid tank. Guys, we're gonna take everything out of that tank, all the wood, all the decor. I gotta get deep into that substrate and get that thing clean. It's been a long time, but let me show you. As clean as this tank looks right now, guys, that water does look crystal clear, check it out. I can't even stop my reflection from showing, but even though the tank looks clean, that substrate has all these tiny little particles of wood pieces that have been chipped off or bitten off. These guys can't stop biting on that wood, especially back here in this corner. And I've got to get it all out of there. And the only way to get it all out is by removing everything from this tank, doing a good vacuum all the way across it, get a nice big water change, and get this tank nice and clean for all these guys. They deserve it. And Gio's growing like a beautiful monster. Look at that. Wait till these guys get to adult size. Loving it. Look at that. There's his boy. I'm gonna take you guys with me step by step through the entire process. Let's go. First thing we're gonna do is turn off the filter. Why? Good question. Well, now that we're about to pull everything out of this tank, all the trap detritus that's in that substrate is gonna become free floating and get all up in the water. And it's gonna be very easy for that stuff to find the filter intakes. I know you're saying, Kev, isn't that what a filter's supposed to do? Yes. But now when we're about to do the maintenance ourselves, I don't want any, any of that stuff getting into the filters right now because that means it's gonna remain in the system of the tank. If we're doing the maintenance ourselves right now, I wanna get that stuff out of the system. So filters off first. Here's how I turn my FX6 off, guys. I go straight for the inlet first, turn that off or close that valve, I should say. Inlet is closed. Then I go for the outlet, close that outlet. And then I go ahead and unplug it. Why do we do it this way? Because you want to trap that siphon in your hoses so that when you reconnect everything and restart everything, the siphon that's trapped in your hoses is going to continue pushing water into your filter and pushing it out of your filter. That way you don't have an issue with getting it restarted and reprimed. Now we're gonna start clearing the top of the tank. I'm gonna take this big light off and I'm gonna get these three glass tops off of the top. That way we have plenty of access to pull these big pieces of wood right out of the tank with no problem. Now I know it's gonna be a little hard for you to see because obviously there's no tank light anymore. I turned all the power off. But as I pull these pieces of wood out of the tank, you're gonna see how much stuff just starts free flowing around. Check it out. Watch how much stuff is behind this big piece of wood right here. Check it out. I don't know how much of that is detritus, how much of that is wood, but whatever it is, we gotta get it out. Like I said, guys, long overdue cleaning on this tank. Check out that substrate now with no wood in it. Oh, that one's a beast. Okay, no more decor in the tank. And look at all that stuff that was hiding there. Look at this corner. Disgusting. This can't all be detritus, no way in the world. I'd have a definite ammonia problem in this tank. A lot of this is just all those particles of wood that peeled off over time that I never got a chance to get out of the tank because they were always in the way. Now we're definitely gonna get it out. Now, does it make sense why I turned off the filters? Right now, if the filter was on, my FX6 would be sucking all that stuff right up into it. And then on top of this big tank cleaning, I'd have to do a filter cleaning too. That's too much work in one day, guys. I'm not doing it. All right, we're gonna get our vacuum going. And I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way that I get this siphon going. Check it out. You're gonna drop your tube down into your tank. Let the entire tube fill up with water. Raise the tube out of the tank so water starts to come down your hose and then simply lock the valve on your python. If you don't have this valve on your python, don't worry. All you gotta do is grab the hose in any other spot and kink it. See that? 
that kink is gonna do the exact same thing as this fancy lock on the Python. So don't worry about it. Once you got it locked, as you can see now, because I've got it locked, look at the water stopped right there in the tube. Right, so the siphon is trapped in the hose right now. So now I'm gonna re-enter the tube back into the tank, let it fill up once again, all the way, get all the air out of the, out of the tube. Then I'm either gonna unkink my hose, if you don't have the lock, or unlock the lock. That's gonna continue the siphon through the hose, and now you've got a siphon. Now, let's get all this stuff up. Just a quick side note guys, I am vacuuming sand. So with sand, you just wanna brush the top of the sand to get everything out of there. And take a look at that tube guys. This is gonna take a while, so bear with me. So you can see these big pieces of wood guys in the tube. These aren't gonna go up with the siphon. The siphon is not strong enough to pull up these big pieces. So I'm gonna focus more on just getting up all the tiny little small particles, and then I got a plan for those big pieces after. All right, now my next plan with this little stockpile right here is to try to get it picked up with a net. I don't know how well this is gonna work. We're gonna find out together. That didn't work. All I did was spread it all over the tank all over again. So, I'm gonna start our siphon again, same way. All right, this time, I'm just gonna scoop the whole thing up with whatever sand comes with it, be done with it. Here's what we got after the vacuum. Looks much better, but obviously there's still a bunch of pieces still here. I'm not gonna be able to get it all up, but I have a new plan. Before continuing with the water change, I'm gonna give the glass a good once over with my little scrubby. It doesn't really need it, but at this point, we're going full clean. So as much as I didn't want any of this stuff getting into the filters, it's just gonna be inevitable. It's too small and too much of it to get every single little piece up with the vacuum. So now I get to show you guys the beauty of what a wave maker can do. So here's the plan. I'm gonna take this wave maker right here and lower it so that it's below this water line right here and then let that sucker run and pull all of this detritus towards it also towards the filter intake that's over here on the same side then i'm going to fire up the fx6 and let both of those work together for a while and pull all those tiny little pieces that i couldn't get up get them out of the tank first then we'll continue with the water change I'm gonna help out a bit too by continuing with the vacuum over in that corner. See all that stuff swirling around? Look at that. That's from the wave maker power. Now the FX6 kicked back on and now it will start pulling a lot of this to try this into the intake.
So I've assisted as much as I can with the Python. It's looking much better right now. But we're going to let this wave maker and the filter run for a while. In the meantime, I'm going to go attack that wood and see if we could get any more of those dead loose pieces off of them before they go back in the tank. I got my toothbrush and I'm going to try to make sure I get any of these loose pieces of wood off this wood. Check out the difference. Look at that substrate now. Almost brand spanking new. Of course, there's always gonna be a couple of little ones that you just can't get, like that little group of guys right there. But overall, check that out. Super clean. Since I vacuumed so long trying to get all that stuff out, I pretty much took out nearly 50% already just by vacuuming. So no need to take any more water out. We're gonna get this decor back into the tank and then fill this sucker back up. Now that I got the wood back in, it looks like it needs another vacuum. All of the cores back in, touched it up with another little vacuum for the small pieces that came off the wood as I put it back in the tank. But now, ready to fill her up. Always. So it's been a few hours since I finished the cleaning and I wanted to give the tank some time to clear up so I could show you guys the final results. Water's looking crystal clear, substrate is nice and clean, check it out. While you're checking out the fish, looking nice and happy in their brand new clean home, make sure to like the video if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And check out this next video right here that YouTube and I think that you enjoy. See you guys on the other side.